to Vlogmas in July with me. My name's Laura and I never plan what to say at these points so I tend to go, uh... <laughs> This morning, I have had a lovely morning. Um, 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 Laura, quit it. <laughs> Obviously, my son is at school today and my daughter goes to see my mum on a Tuesday and they have a little day together. And Tuesday tends to be my, like, get everything done day. But this week, there's not really much other than, like, i still got some tidying and sorting and kind of post-party stuff to sort out. But I feel no urgency to do that just yet. So I decided to just keep it chill this morning. I dropped Penny off and had a little bit of a chat with my mum. And then I went to Pilates for the first time in about six months. It was quite a big step for me. I started doing Pilates and yoga and stuff at the end of last year to try and help with my lower back strength and flexibility because I have lower back pain. Pretty sure I've got sciatica, but it, it's not too bad. It's just occasional, but it feels just like what I had when I had it when I was pregnant with Penny. Um, but unfortunately, I wasn't in the right headspace at the time to be going to a gym and I quickly fell into old habits and thought patterns, so I stopped. Um, that was also before I started therapy, so I, I've since then have done a lot of personal growth and development and learning, and I finally felt ready this morning to go back to the gym. The gym that I'm a member of has had a complete refurb since I last went which was quite nice because it felt like I was going somewhere different and didn't have the kind of same feelings as when I was last there and the class was lovely it was an instructor I'd not had before and it was it was really chill I really felt like I engaged with my body and have just done something good for myself irrespective of any aesthetics or trying to lose weight or anything like that it's just it, i just did it to try and improve my quality of life and that is a big step for me so yay and whilst i was there waiting for my class to start, i did have a little look around the gym and it's crazy it's been completely refurbed it's got all these crazy new high-tech machines so i think when i'm ready to go back to the actual like gym gym I'm going to have to have a little bit of a refresher course, which is nice because my goals are different from when I last went and you get like a little person who sets you up with a plan, not like a personal trainer, just like a, what do you kind of want to achieve? This is roughly what you want to do and you check in every couple of months kind of thing. You can have a personal trainer, but I think that's a step too far for me. And then when I got home, I was mega hungry. So I made myself a wrap with the leftovers from my dinner last night. I made like a soy and honey chicken and tasted good, but I overcooked the chicken and it was a bit dry. So I didn't want to have it on its own again. So I like chopped it up, put it in a wrap with lots of different like ingredients, like loads of avocado, loads of tomato to keep it like moist. Sauce. Sauce. Um, and it was really, really yummy. And then I had some fruit on the side and now I'm having a coffee because I didn't have a coffee this morning. <laughs> sorry if this is, well, no, not sorry, but this is probably gonna be TMI. Um, I'm of an age now where coffee makes me need a wee very quickly afterwards. <laughs> so I didn't wanna have a coffee before my Pilates class. <laughs> um, oh my gosh, these are your mid thirties, guys. <laughs> And after eating my dinner, I sat, well, my dinner, my lunch, I sat down and I made myself a little tracker for the Big Love Cardigan because last night I timed myself. I knit about an inch and I was quite shocked at how long it took, if I'm honest. One row is about eight minutes. The um, right side rows are slightly faster. I did say the other day that it was like an alteration on one by one rib. I was really, really wrong. It's not. And there's actually more knits than pearls on the right side and then more pearls than knits on the wrong side. 
So the right sides are a little bit quicker, but on average I'm about eight minutes per row. And to do an inch, it took me just over 40 minutes. And I was really surprised at how long that took. I was also shocked at the weight of the garment, something I wasn't prepared for. Obviously I was used to it at the time, but it is hefty, it's heavy, it's quite a dense fabric. I think maybe I could have gone up a needle size um, just to make a slightly more relaxed fabric and have it easier on my hands, but it is, it's heavy. So like turning it and moving it and sliding it and just the weight of the garment on the cable, on my wrists, I could really feel it after 40 minutes. So moving forward, whilst I work on it, I'm gonna try and keep it supported, maybe put a cushion on my lap so it's, well, that's taking the weight of it, not my wrists. I'm gonna get a longer cable because everything was really bunched up and I think if I had a bit more room to kind of spread, it would be better. Um, but also based on that and a little bit of maths that I've done, I have figured out that to, oh, I also compared it to the length of another jumper I made for my husband because that's a really good length. Um, I figured out that I've got 28 days to do 10 inches of body, including the rib at the bottom, which will be quicker than the actual body itself. Um, works out at 15 minutes per day. That's not a lot, is it? The plan was 30 minutes a day. And there will definitely be days where I do a little bit more. There might be days where I don't do any. That's fine. I, I'm not like rigid about this if you know i don't if i've got like one inch or two inches to go and it's the end of july it really doesn't matter but the point of this is is to make it manageable and to break it down um i realized that over i've got 400 minutes left and it's weird to think of my in terms of like time like that so for what's that in hours that's only six and a half hours. Six and a half hours left on this project. I don't quite believe that. I think it would be more. I think it will take longer than that if I'm completely honest looking at it. And you know, cause I could sit down and knit for six and a half hours. I won't because that would be very bad for my wrists. Um, but yeah, I couldn't see myself finishing this in a day. No, I won't. <laughs> so yeah, I suddenly feel it's a lot more manageable. I grab a little notepad. You can't see it, it's too blown out. Oh no. You can kind of see it if I angle it out of the light. I'll do a, a thing. But I've basically drawn the jumper without the sleeves and then I've divided it into 28 sections and every time I do a day, like a 15 minute portion, I'm gonna color in one of the little sections. I thought I'd rather do that than just do 10 big sections, one per inch, because I didn't want to be like measuring all the time. I don't want to have to like constantly be measuring to get my milestones. I can just sit down and put a timer on or set an alarm or whatever, and then I know that I've done a portion. So I'm actually quite excited. Really enjoyed working on it last night. It felt really good. I, I actually got excited to pick it up and get going and re-familiarise myself. And it just makes me really glad that I didn't force myself to work on it earlier because I wouldn't have enjoyed it. I was sat on the sofa knitting away and I was like, looking at my husband like, and he just had no clue. And I was like, do you see what I'm working on? And he was like, is that my cardigan? Yay! So he's quite excited. Every time I cast on a new project and I'm like, show, I'm like, look at this that I did. He's like, doesn't really look like a cardigan though, does it? So I'm like, I know, I know. And so, based on this, based on doing only 15 minutes a day on this project, I feel like I can get ahead of the game on his anniversary present because when I talked about it the other day and realized I got two months to do it did freak myself out a little bit I'm still going to prioritize my Christmas things I'm going to finish my mum's socks and I'm going to start working on other things I decided that I'm going to make gloves for my son's teachers because the stress of making socks that fit a stranger is just too much even the Sunday socks 
where I made the same size for my mum and my sister and my mum has size five feet and my sister has size seven feet. I just made the foot slightly longer for my sister, but like width wise and stretch wise, they were the same. Um, but even then still, and also I think socks are quite personal. Like it's like quite, I feel like it's like quite a personal part of the human body. Whereas like hands are a little bit more like, you know, chill. So I'm gonna make them gloves. My son has already been sent on a mission to find out their favourite colours because one of the support teachers in year one, Jeff has like, interacted with already and, and he really likes her. So I'm like, next time you see her, find out what her favourite colour is and I can get started on those. I'm just going to do World's Simplest Mittens by Tin Can Knits but choose some really beautiful yarn, hopefully from Stash. If not, I'm not adverse to buying something. I'm going to a yarn show, which I need to book the ticket for at the end of the year. So if there's anything specific that I need, I can hopefully get it then. Or I could make them all matching, but that would be boring for me. No, different colours. So I'm feeling really excited and really positive about this month. I'm going to probably swatch for the Moby sweaters soon and have a look at my yarn stash. I have got a certain amount of the yarn I'm going to use in stash. And I was going to use that and then just order some more. But a few of you have said, don't do it to yourself, Laura. If you get the dye and they're extremely different you know, you're going to stress yourself out. So I I think I probably should buy a sweater's quantity of what I intend to use. I'm going to swatch first to make sure that it works and then get a new sweater's quantity, which I need to do soon because it is the 4th of July and I'll probably buy it from knit.co.uk and she's going on holiday for the whole of July. So I won't be posting. So if I do buy it, I, I need to order it by tomorrow. So I think we're going to see a Moby Sweater swatch today. And then I can see if I actually like it or not. Other news today is that I found out my son is not going to school tomorrow because his teachers are striking. So my, my days have suddenly changed. I won't be doing swimming volunteering. I'll have Jeff home with me tomorrow, which I'm very fortunate that that's not going to disrupt our lives. And I'm actually really looking forward to it. I, I never or at least rarely get one on one time with Jeff. So I'm very, very excited and looking forward to it. Still have to take Penny to her swimming lesson, but he can come along with me for that. Though, if the weather's anything like this, it's an outdoor pool, so I don't think it'll be going ahead. I'm not too sure. I'm gonna have to play it by ear. But I'm no longer gonna be like off tomorrow and not filming. I'm actually gonna have quite a lot to film tomorrow. A lovely day with my Jeffy boy. So I'm probably going to call it a day on the filming for today now. I might take little snippets of what I'm working on, that kind of thing. But I'm going to take a little bit of a break from the filming because yesterday I did quite a lot. And tomorrow I'm going to do quite a lot because there's going to be lots of lovely things to film. So thank you for joining me yet again for a Vlogmas in July. I hope you're having a lovely day and I will catch up with you tomorrow. The great yellow sun is reflecting in your deep blue eyes. The day has begun. You spin around, you spin around, you laugh to yourself. And I see you shine in every color, resting your head in my arms. You sing la 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 We might need a fork. Should we get a fork? Yeah. <laughs> we have had a lovely Jeff and Mummy morning so far. Have you had a nice time? Yeah! We went to the bakery, didn't we? But what did we think of our cake? Not that good. We didn't like it, so we didn't eat it, did we? We've been chilling out and doing some drawing. What have I drawn, Jeff? Show it. 
What about cutting it out? Looks like a sibling sweater by mistake. It was Jeff's idea to do stripes, so that's what we did. Um, so I thought I would just catch you up on my progress from last night. It was nice to have a little break from the editing and just do some knitting all evening. And yeah, I've got a bit of an update on the old Big Love cardigan. So I ended up doing another hour on it last night. So an hour and 45 altogether yesterday. So I'm like six days ahead of schedule. How exciting is that? However, when I finished knitting on it last night, I said to my husband, just try it on for me for a second, just so I can double check my length. And my length predictions were perfect. However, we put it on and we were both like, it's all right, isn't it? Yeah, it's fine. And my husband was like, yeah, it's uh, yeah, it's fine. And I was like, yeah, it looks fine. And then we were both like, it's a bit small, isn't it? So I was just like, no, no, like it's kind of fine. Like the arms were great, it's fine across the top, but it just felt a little bit slim on the body and it's meant to be open, but it, it was a little too open. And I thought, okay, well, I haven't blocked this yet. So let's just give it a bit of a block. And fortunately it's made quite a large difference. I haven't actually tried it on my husband yet, but before I blocked it, the body width was 37 inches and my husband is 37 and a half inches all the way around so it only just kind of covered and just didn't look right but now I've blocked it it's at like 42 inches so we've got a good five inches positive ease now which I'm hoping will be better and I'm really really surprised well I'm not surprised but cut it out. oh shoot we made a jumper <laughs> it's cool isn't it what are we going to do next? Trousers? Yeah. Do you want me to draw some trousers for you to colour in? Yeah. Okay. One sec. Maybe we can stick them together. So yeah, I'm not, I'm not surprised that the fabric is... I'm oh, sorry, my eyes are really watering this morning. Um, I'm not surprised the fabric has grown, but I'm glad. It's definitely relaxed so much and the stitch pattern is a lot clearer than it was. I always forget how good the light is in here. Yeah, it's looking lovely and it's so much more relaxed. I just, the collar has also opened up loads as well. I was worried the collar was looking a bit skinny. Um, I just steam blocked it. And so I feel like when I properly wet block it, it's gonna probably relax even more. But I'm just gonna try, oh, oh my gosh, yeah. So even on me, the sleeves were like a bit, oh gosh, don't wanna lose any stitches. Even on me, the sleeves were tight. And just with a steam block, oh, it's relaxed so much yeah oh it's lovely yeah it's much 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 better oh, i'm so relieved honestly when he put it on and we were both like oh it feels a bit tight i was just like this this can't be happening this cannot be happening <laughs> all of this effort and it's too small but i think we're going to be all right and Honestly, in the end, if I finish it and it's just that bit too small for him, for his comfort, I'm just going to be like, fine, whatever. I will keep it. I will wear it. It's oversized on me, which I love. So it should be just about right for him. But yeah, if it doesn't work out for him, then lesson learned, I guess. What do you think, Jeff? Cool. Think it'll look good yeah. for Daddy. Think it'll look good on Daddy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, so our plan for today: we've got to take Penny to her swimming lesson in an hour, don't we? Yeah. What What are the things, Jeff, that you said you wanted to do with Mummy today for your Mummy and Jeff day? Build some Lego. Okay. Build some Lego. You didn't say that, but we I, can do that. I want to build when we when we're done. McDonald's with Lego? No, no, the McDonald's at the soft play. Yeah, yeah. He really wanted to go to soft play, but soft play, soft play, but because Penny's swim lesson is right in the middle of the day, it wouldn't have left us any time to get to a soft play, have a good like hour and a half play and back again. So there's a McDonald's with a soft play in it. So we're gonna go to that after Penny's swimming lesson for your lunch, aren't we? Special treat. Yeah. And then it'll be back to pick up Penny and then continue. Mr. Penrose is out tonight, so I've got an evening 
on my own, but that's okay because I'm just gonna knit. Um, I'm finding I don't really want to work on anything else at the moment other than this. I feel like this has come back to my main whip, which is good because I should be ahead of schedule, I think. I reckon I can get this finished pretty soon, if I'm honest, which will be nice because then I'll feel like free for the rest of my month. However, spanner in the works, I forgot that it's the West Knits sock cow today. It starts today. And I'm like, Ooh, yeah. Um, I When I first saw that he was doing a sock cow, I was like, yes, I'm in. Because I really enjoyed the first shawl cow that I did, the shawlography, but I didn't enjoy last year's. I didn't finish the project. I stopped after like two clues because I just knew it wasn't for me. Um, but the sock cow sounds really, really fun. Uh, the only problem is, obviously, if I'm knitting on it during Vlogmas in July, I'm not going to be able to show you what I'm working on because it's like, spoiler alert, don't want to ruin it for anyone. So I may or may not do it. I bought the pattern just because I'm really intrigued. Um, and I've got some yarn for it that would be really fun. So I may or may not do it. If I do do it, then I will make sure not to show what I've done until like the week after the clue, because the clues come out every week and I work so if I'm working on it I won't show it until the next clue has been released if that makes any sense or I'll just keep it a secret to the end of the month I don't know we'll see I'll decide but yeah I mainly want to work on this at the moment I am missing my sock whip now that I've finished that just plain pair of vanilla socks so maybe I'll just skip the MCAL and just do a plain pair of socks to take around with me with the yarn I've got for the MCAL. Oh, we are definitely overexposed now, aren't we? So I'm going to see if I can get a few rows in before we go and take Penny to her swimming lesson. And I'll catch up with you later. Go on then, dude. What did we make? We made a puzzle. <laughs> it's cool, isn't it? Can you tell them how we made it? We, we draw all the body parts and we staple them all together. <laughs> and who is it? Who's that person? My sister, Penny. <laughs> What's she wearing? Is she wearing a sibling sweater? Yeah! yeah. <laughs> Did you have fun? Yeah. Should we go and get Penny? Yeah! Big enough for everyone Cause she knew it must rain before it grows She kept dreaming Even though she could knock down and never showed not knit a single stitch today it's just one of those days where it just didn't happen and that's absolutely fine i've had a really lovely day with my boy it was just yeah just absolutely lovely at the beginning of the day i was like what can we do where can we go let's do a thing let's you know make it really special but i was like let's just ask jeff what he wants to do and he just wanted to do drawing and coloring in and go to mcdonald's for his lunch so that's what we did it was so nice he loves drawing so much and i think it's just as important as a parent to um show your children that you're interested in what they're interested in and you take their interests seriously and spend time doing those things with them as it is taking them for wonderful trips out like honestly nothing could have been better for jeff today than just me and him sitting and drawing and i had fun it was good um, Mr. Penrose's evening was cancelled, so he's home. So I was going to kind of um, put the kids to bed and catch up with you afterwards and do a little bit of evening filming, but now that he's home, um, I'm not going to do that because I'd like to spend the evening with him. And as soon as he wants to play his video game, I'll do some editing. So I will do some knitting this evening. I'm not sure what I'm going to knit on yet. The uh, Stephen West sock pattern hasn't come out yet, and it's supposed to be out 
today. Is it? Or is it tomorrow? Is it out tomorrow? Is that why I'm like, where is it? Thursday. It starts tomorrow. That's why it hasn't come out today. <laughs> so yeah, I'm still undecided as to whether or not I'm going to do it. I'm just going to wait to see what the first clue is and see if I like it and if I want to do it. We'll see. I am really missing my sock whip though, so I think I may cast on some just plain socks. I really want to knit my sister some socks for her birthday this year. For the past three years I have done her a garment. This year I'm not going to because I just want to focus on my husband's anniversary jumper. Um, but I would still like to make her a little something and I have made her socks before but I think it's about time she had a fresh pair because she still wears the first pair I made her but they were DK and they were lace and I've noticed they've grown a lot. I think I even used cotton yarn for them, it was that long ago. Um, so I think she deserves a fresh pair and I've got some really awesome neon pink sock yarn. So I think I'd like to find a textured sock pattern to use that neon pink and then have like contrasting heels, cuffs and toes with something fun. Maybe something speckled or variegated. So maybe I'll cast those on tonight. Maybe I'll do some more on my husband's jumper. I need to get him to try it on just to double check that it's okay since block. I had myself a lovely afternoon bath today. Penny fell asleep, so I thought I'm just gonna have a nice long bath now. I did full beauty regime, I did a face mask, I did a hair mask, and I've done like put lovely lotions and potions on my face and on my body. I got a new thing. I signed up to like a, a beauty box service thing because I really started to take a much bigger interest in skincare this year um, like all over body face everything just kind of generally just looking after my skin and my hair a little bit better because it's all part of the respecting my wonderful body program that I'm on not really a program it's just life um, and part of the subscription box I got this which is a full-size product amazing and it's Aveeno which is a brand I absolutely love and we use it a lot for my son who has doesn't have full-blown eczema but he does get eczema -y spells and itchy patches and dry patches and he's always responded really really well to Aveeno or anything OT and this came in my box and it is the Aveeno skin relief body oil spray in instantly nourishes very dry sensitive skin now I don't particularly have dry or sensitive skin but I said to myself, with this beauty box, I will only continue to have them if I am using the products. If I just start having this little box of random sample products build up that I'm not using, then I need to stop. So I thought I'm gonna try this straight away, and I'm glad I did, it's gorgeous. It smells like nothing I've smelled before. It's oat oil and jojoba oil, and I'm guessing it's jojoba that is so lovely. And it's lovely, so yeah, I'll put this on. Joust myself in this lovely oil, and I'm very pleased with it. It's lovely. And now I'm all good. I'm all done. I'm all clean. I'm all slathered. I'm all pampered. I'm ready for bed. And it's only 7.30. <laughs> so we can have a good two hours of knitting this evening, I think, depending on whether I edit or not. I'm going to be filming tomorrow. I'm not uh, burnt out yet. And tomorrow is uh, me day. Both kids are in school. I've got therapy in the morning, but that's it. And I think I'm just going to do my best tomorrow to kind of catch up with the house because I've been trying every day to really like just get reset there's still Penny's party stuff still downstairs I've got a pile of washing I need to sort out but I just can't seem to get ahead of myself at the moment so I'm going to use tomorrow just to be completely clear and get everything sorted so that on Friday I can do my deep clean I've been trying really hard to get into the habit of doing a deep clean on a Friday just so it's nice for the weekend and I need to mop the floor which is my most hated job because it makes my back hurt so I'm gonna give it a go and if it does start to hurt I'm just gonna stop and I'll Mr Penrose will do it on Saturday instead but my Pilates seems to have been doing some good I've been feeling it in my tummy this morning so who knows maybe I'll have the strength to mop this week I have yoga lattes on Friday as well so that'll be nice so I may take Friday off we'll see
but thank you for joining me again i hope you're enjoying vlogmas in july i've already seen some posts pop up on the hashtag on instagram which made me so happy and i've been really enjoying reading your comments and when you tell me what you're working on and what you're doing with your christmas project so keep them coming keep using the hashtag because i'm really enjoying seeing them i'll see you in the next one have a lovely evening good night